This is the Chicago Bears, the team that finished with the worst record in the NFL this year and destined for the number one overall pick. But today in Madden 23, I'm going to try to save their franchise in the next five years. The Bears must accomplish half of these following goals over the next five years to be a success. They must have a player win an offensive or defensive player of the year. They must have a player reach a 99 overall in Madden. They must have a coach of the year. Have a player win the MVP award. They must make the playoffs at least two times over the next five years years and obviously win a Super Bowl. For every challenge I complete on this challenge wheel, I can then spin the wheel of upgrades to upgrade the Chicago Bears. But because it's year one, we are going to be nice and we are going to give them a free upgrade. There's a ton of great things on here. We can upgrade players. We can steal players from other teams. And the first upgrade we are going to get is every corner on the Bears is going to go up by five overall. So these are all the corners on the Bears before we make the upgrades. We have an 82 as the highest overall. And here is all their corners after the upgrades. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it could make a huge difference with this this team or maybe it won't make a huge difference as the Bears start off this season one and six but hey they're not the Packers at one and six Justin Fields though is having an efficient season almost 1700 yards passing with 14 touchdowns and three picks then on the ground you have Montgomery running for 467 two touchdowns not bad through seven games Fields has 189 and Khalil Herbert has 56 the wide receiver room not horrible either you have Darnell Mooney with 470 leading the team four touchdowns Cole Komet 352 four touchdowns Chase Claypool 263 they are missing that number one receiver Though. Well, just like in the real NFL, the Bears are going to finish with the worst record in the NFL this year, going 2-15. and 15. As for Justin Fields, he has 4,079 yards with 30 touchdowns and 14 picks. They had a 1,000-yard receiver in Darnell Mooney with 1,100 yards, Cole Komet 875, Chase Claypool with 686, and even Akil Harry with 528. I was expecting a couple more interceptions with the upgrades we made to the corners, but it is what it is. At the end of the year, the Ravens and Lamar Jackson are going to win the Super Bowl 27-11 to 11 over the Philadelphia Eagles with Jalen Hurts winning the MVP and Nick Sirianni winning coach of the year. Not off to a great start, but I expected that. I think the second half of this simulation is going to be a little bit better. We have to get the first Madden touchdown in an online game to get an upgrade. Mooney one-on-one. -on -one. Stay in bounds, Mooney. Oh, good try. That one a touchdown. Going to go back to a very similar play. Cole Komet over the middle. Oh, you got to be kidding me at the one. Did we go roll out? Maybe hit Komet here for the touchdown. We need to. Yep, we baited his user right there, and there's our upgrade. Let's see what upgrade we get now for this team. Hopefully something good. Can we get a double upgrade? Now, this is huge. We can spin this wheel two times. That is something this team desperately needed. We are going to get two upgrades, and the first one's going to be upgrading Justin Fields' 10 overalls. So that's awesome to get our quarterback upgraded by 10 overalls, but we're going to get another upgrade. We're going to get another double upgrade. So we have, we're going to get three upgrades on this wheel right now. That's crazy. What is with the keep going? Almost a double upgrade. We're going to be able to upgrade the entire defensive line five overall. And we're going to be able to add any single player in the NFL we want to this team. So as of right now, Justin Fields is a 78. He's about to become an 88. And now Bears fans, you have one of the best quarterbacks in the league. So the four players on the D line, we have Davenport, Rankins, Jones, and Gibson. They're going to be going up by five overall. With those upgrades on defense, the defense is actually looking pretty good. We've upgraded the corners and now we've upgraded the D line. And the player I brought over to the Chicago Bears from the Cleveland Browns. It is Nick Chubb to help Justin Fields in that read option game. Halfway through year number two, the Bears are leading the NFC North. We are already starting to turn this team around at four and two. Justin Fields has thrown for over 1,500 yards, 11 touchdowns, and two picks. Very efficient. This team, though, is a run first offense with Chubb doing what he does. 500 yards about rushing with six touchdowns, then Fields adding 203 and a touchdown. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bears somehow are 13 and four in the second season. I don't know how that happened. And I know there'll be some people in the comments who don't believe the Bears went 13-4 and four and think I forced won some of these games. As you can tell, the only force win was the bye week. Everything else is non-force win. I'm just as surprised as all of you that they went 13-4. and 13-4 and four is also good for second in the NFC, so they'll be playing the Cowboys in the first round. Nick Chubb definitely made an impact on this team with 1,317 yards rushing with 15 touchdowns, hoping he can win an Offensive Player of the Year at some point. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time this video, we are jumping into live Chicago Bears football only in the second season somehow in this five-year span, and they are in the playoffs. Real quick, everyone, before we get back into the video, only about 4% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, make sure to subscribe to the channel, but let's get back into the video. And not only are they in the playoffs, they won the division. They're the number two seed in the NFC. Not even like they squeaked in as a wild card. 
I don't know how they did it. And that is a huge catch right there for the first down by David Montgomery. The Bears are just outside the red zone here. You have Chubb. Cole Komet has a superstar ability. This is cool to see the Bears with some abilities in this game. Fields is going to go. I think that's Mooney at the bottom. I couldn't quite see. We got a trip set to the top of the screen. Fields right. We have Montgomery in the backfield. They'll give it to Montgomery. David Montgomery's got a hole. And he'll go up the middle. And he's dragged to about the three. Looks like they're going right back to it, though. Same formation. This time, it's Montgomery playing fullback. And he'll walk in for a touchdown. We have a good game here at Soldier Field. It is 21-16 Bears. 28-16 Bears. But the Cowboys are driving. It's first and 10 for Dallas at the Chicago. 14. Down by five. They got to stop Dak. This defense has played really good this year. I have to imagine that's part of the reason. Pick that off and you're going to the next round. Looks like Zeke in the backfield. Can they stop him? Dak's actually going to throw it on third and inches. Someone sack the man. Get to Dak. He throws on the run. And he should have been picked. No surprise here on fourth and inches. Dallas is going for this. This one has to go to Zeke, right? Zeke. Wide open, I mean, he walked in, kind of like Montgomery. And Fields and the Bears answer. No, they can't. And Chicago's going home. But hey, Chicago fans, this is a great year, too. We have three more years to go, and we accomplished some goals. And it looks like in the Super Bowl, the Lions made the Super Bowl. They lost to the Bills 22-21. I thought we would have had Coach of the Year in the bag, but it's Matt Rule of the Panthers, who's not even really the coach of the Panthers anymore, winning Coach of the Year. A little disappointing being one and done in the playoffs, but going 13-4. We're going to build on that, hopefully. That was huge. Now we need the first run in an MLB The Show online game to get another upgrade. A few moments later. Well, we're not getting an upgrade. First pitch of the entire game with the White Sox, and Altuve just drilled that. The Bears went out with a good fight, though. They went 8-9, and nine, so close to going 500. Not a bad season. We'll see if we can bounce back in year four. Fields picked it up throwing the ball. He got over 4,000 again. 27 touchdowns, 11 picks. Nick Chubb did not have a great season by his standards. A little over 1,000 yards rushing with 12 touchdowns. Darnell Mooney once again over 1,000 yards. The Bills beat the Cowboys in the Super Bowl 45-42. Sorry, Cowboys fans. Only in Madden does that happen. The MVP goes to Josh Allen, and Doug Peterson gets coach of the year. We are definitely going to need an upgrade or two for this team, so we're going to have to complete whatever for the next challenge is NFL trivia. I think we should be good with this. So last time I did NFL trivia, those questions were a little easy. So we're going to go ahead and do the medium questions today. And the first one is, who were the losers of the Super Bowl in 1969? That's Super Bowl three. I believe that's when the Jets beat the Indianapolis Colts or the Baltimore Colts. If they're just the Colts, I'm giving myself the answer. They're the Indianapolis Colts, but they might've been the Baltimore Colts at that time. I don't actually remember. Let's see what upgrade we can get. If we can get a double upgrade, that would be huge again. Or this. This one's actually going to be very good. All the offensive linemen on the team are going to go up plus five. So we have year four now. This is our O-line going in. Everyone pretty much is high 70s, low 80s. We have two O-linemen with hidden dev traits. Hopefully we can unlock those this year, if not this year, next year. And this offense is looking good all around. You have pretty solid wide receivers in Mooney and Juju, 86 plus overall. Chubb, 99. Fields, 90. 80 plus across the board on the offensive line. And Komet at an 83. The defense is solid except for the linebacker position and the D-tackle position everything else pretty much 80 overall and even a 91 with johnson and for the first time since the playoff loss in year two at soldier field we're jumping in for a little bit of bears football here as justin field's gonna go read option first play of the year for 16 we're gonna watch this offensive drive then we're gonna jump to the middle of the season but just to see what we're working with here in year four let's see how good fields in this offense is and he just overthrows his receiver very surprised we haven't seen nick chubb on the field yet i don't know why that is Montgomery's been the number one guy despite Chubb being a 99. Bears have a third and eight, though. We'll see if they can convert here. If not, maybe we'll watch a little defense, too. But there's Cole Komet. I honestly don't even know if he was throwing to him. He might have been throwing to Montgomery, and Komet just caught it. Let's see how Fields does a little play action, rolls out, something like that on the run. Nope, just give it to Montgomery. Huge hole. Montgomery, come on with the vision there. Just run up the middle. You're in. Come on, Montgomery. Get in the end zone. The pitch. Try to get to the outside, but the Eagles say no. The Bears are able to get that touchdown on the board, though, for the opening drive. The Bears are back in the playoffs. They are in the wild card round, taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Fields again over 4,000 yards to end the season. 30 touchdowns, 13 picks. Nick Chubb, I'm really hoping he can win Offensive Player of the Year. We need that goal. 1,450 yards and 23 touchdowns. The wide receivers, we don't have to talk about too much. You guys know what to expect at this point. We aren't going to jump into this game because we've seen a wild card game. We won't jump into a divisional either, but if they go to the NFC Championship, we are going to jump into this game and they are taking on the 13 and 4 dallas cowboys that knocked them out a long time ago can they beat dallas and go to the nfc championship game 
Come on, Chicago. They beat Dallas. They send the Cowboys home. And now they get a 10 and 7 Carolina team. But the Chicago Bears are one game away from the Super Bowl. Can you believe this, Bears fans? In four years, if I told you to go to the Super Bowl, would you be happy about that? Let me know in the comments down below. But this team looks like they're pretty good. They got a lot of X-Factors. I wonder who number 27 is. What a catch. Who even just caught that? That ball was caught by Bart Cooper. At this point, you have a lot of auto-generated players in year four. So that's the receiver. Who is this running back, though? I want to know. Number 27. I can't quite see the name. Who is that? Kareem Hunt is on this team. Okay. Get to Tua. Get some pressure on Tua. Tua's got all day, but he misses his receiver. And now it's time for the Bears to take over. Play action for Fields. He's rolling. Oh, and it hits Darnell Mooney for a huge pickup. Second and inches. Read option. Fields has the edge. Fields trying to go to the end zone. He'll get to the 15. Bears fans want seven. Fields will throw. And he's looking for Darnell Mooney for the touchdown. But the Panthers are taking over now. It's 28-13, but 28-20 now. Come on, Bears. Score this touchdown. It's an eight-point game, but they cannot stop the Carolina Panthers. It's a nonstop offensive assault. The Bears put up 34 points in this game, but they are going home in the NFC Championship. But what a performance this season. One more year to go. And the Panthers wind up winning the Super Bowl over the Jacksonville Jaguars 34-21. They get their first Super Bowl in franchise history. And it's actually D. Butler wins Offensive Player of the Year, not Nick Chubb somehow. And here we go for year number five. Final year. We need one more upgrade. And we've gone to all sports games today, pretty much. We need the first points in an NBA online game. We need the tip. Tip is always important and we don't win it. Oh, we need to get back. We need to get back. He's going to go to the center. No, no, no. So this is the team we're going with. No adjustments. This is the offense. This offense is good enough to get it done. You can say the same thing about the defense. It's pretty solid. It's not great. It's not horrible. It's probably middle of the pack. But like I said, this roster is good enough to get to the playoffs. And they are 12 and 5 in the wild card round again. Justin Fields, very similar stat line to what he's used to. 35 touchdowns, 9 picks, almost 4,400 yards. Nick Chubb, 1,645 yards. 23 touchdowns. Can he please win OPOY? We're now jumping into the NFC Championship again. Here we go. Saints, Bears. A few moments later. And the Super Bowl is won by the Bengals in year five with Josh Jacobs winning Offensive Player of the Year. And we didn't get Coach of the Year either. Final thing of the video. Do you see this? 1,905 rushing yards. 36 touchdowns is mad and crazy and after the five-year simulation the bears were able to accomplish a few goals they were able to make the playoffs more than two times and they also were able to get a 99 overall on their team in nick chubb that's gonna do it for the video everyone if you enjoyed it do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you're new in the comments down below let me know what challenge what video do you want to see next peace